Oh, hey, wow. Gosh, it's so hot here and it's so bright out. I even need sunglasses. Really? It's freezing here. I've got like all these layers on in my coat. No way. How could you need a coat right now? Do you see all the snow? It's, there's no snow there? No, look, it's so sunny and warm out. Wow, that's like amazing. I've been shivering all day trying to stay warm in all my, all my layers. Well, you know, every living thing needs the right outer layers for where they live. It looks cold where you live, so you need a coat and hat. But over here, it's really nice, so I need some sunscreen and sunglasses. When it's hot outside, do you wear a big, thick coat and snow boots and hat and gloves? No way, you'd be way too hot. But when it's cold outside, do you go out in short sleeves and shorts and sandals? Absolutely not, you'd be freezing. Just like us, animals have whatever covering that will work best for them in the environment that they live in. There are four main types of animal coverings. Fur, feathers, scales, and shells. Let's talk about them. Fur. All mammals have fur, from small short hairs to full fur coats. Some animals like elephants just have a little bit of fur. Other animals like bears have a full fur coat covering their entire body. Fur can be so helpful for insulation, warmth, sensory. Some mammals even shed their fur and hair at different types of the year. Have you ever seen a dog shed its fur? I have. Hair and fur and ears can help with balance. If it's in your nose, it can help protect from dust and dirt and other things getting up into your nose. Let's talk about feathers. What types of animals have feathers? If you guess birds, you're right. Feathers aren't only good for flying, they have so many other uses. Feathers around the tail and around the wings can help with steering. Feathers are actually pretty warm for birds too. Next are scales. Many different types of animals have scales, like snakes and fish. For a snake, having scales can help it slither and move more easily on the ground. For a fish, having scales getting slimy and sticky can help protect them and get away more quickly from enemies and can also protect them from different diseases trying to stick onto their body. Last are shells and exoskeletons. Snails have a hard shell and covering that can provide them a home, can protect them from predators, and can also help them to camouflage into their environment. Not all shells are hard though. Some animals with shells have very soft coverings, still for use for protection. Animal coverings are amazing. Whether it's an otter's fur to help keep it warm, or penguin's feathers that help it stay waterproof, they have the coverings that work best for them and their environment. Let's practice what we learned. Take a look at these animals. Pick out which animal doesn't belong. Do you see what I see? If you noticed an animal with a shell in a group of animals with fur, you'd be right. Let's try this one next. Do you see an animal with fur amongst all these animals with scales? Which one is it? Let's try one last one. I see a lot of feathers, but something looks different. Do you see those muscles in between all those birds? Great job! Wow, Isabella, those were some great questions. And they've given me an idea for a song. And in the song, the chorus goes, feathers, furs, and scales, the shells on the snails. So uh, when we sing that part, there's a little dance that goes along with it. All right, so the dance goes like this. Feathers, furs, and scales, and then the shells on the snails. Do you think you can dance along with the song? Here we go.
lot of fun. Hey Isabella, you think I could join you? This is really nice. I don't even need my jacket. I know, it's so great. It's so hot out. <laughs> yeah, this is like perfect. Um, do you think maybe you like want to go build a sandcastle? Let's go! <laughs>